Hi, Patty. Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium, physical energy healer, and oracle card advisor. How are you today? I don't know if I read for you to be before, so I'll just give you a quick rundown. I see, hear, feel, sense, know, kind of most of the senses, a little bit of taste and smell. Um, this is not an exact science. It may not be 100% perfect, but it's usually pretty darn close. And mostly because they'll show me a picture. Sometimes they talk, sometimes they show pictures, and I call it spiritual charades, and I have to describe what they're showing and try to figure out why they're showing it, because a lot of times they won't tell me why. It's just the way we communicate. And, um... <laughs> what's the other thing I always tell everybody? Ah! <laughs> Names. I was thinking of getting names, so don't throw the reading out if I get a name wrong. It'll be something close. You might have to stretch it and take it outside the box a little bit, but it'll be close. It should be. As long as, as I get the message to you well enough that you can grasp it and know what they mean. As long as I can get the picture to you. Anyway. And... Anyway. Something else I was going to tell you. Don't remember. So, we're going to talk to your brother Rich. No, he's he's uh, calling himself Richie. Richie, and I don't like that name. But that's what they called me when I was younger. Richie. He's... Okay. I don't know why he's showing me... He was showing me something else a minute ago, but now he's showing me somebody's slugging him in the face. Like, super hard. I mean, it spins his head backwards. He's dressed like the picture you sent me with his cowboy hat on and stuff. It looks like he was inside a building, but he's out maybe in a parking lot. I can't see enough of it to say for sure. I won't make things fit. I won't make things up. I'll just give you what... They don't waste a message. They don't waste their energy. So they will show me what they think you need to hear. Maybe not what you want to hear. I can't twist their arm. I can't grab it. <laughs> so let me see why he's showing this guy just full on slugging him hard. He's not showing me and he's not showing me anything else except that. And his head's spun backwards. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick on this for a minute since he opened up so uh, brazen. He's showing himself he's knocked out. He's on the ground. Somebody's grabbing his feet and pulling on him. I'm not sure why. where we go with this. I'm not going to give every little detail. And and it's kind of it's kind of going in slow motion. We need to get to the point. What's the point? There's somebody towards his feet, there's somebody towards his head. They both feel like males. They're moving him. He's knocked out.
He's knocked out, but he still brought his hand up and pushed a beer forward and said, this was going on, talking about drinking beer, before this happened. He says he was flapping his jaws and hitting on a girl. Well, not really hitting on, but flirting, he said. He kind of has had a, he's shown me before, he had, I don't want to say an arrogant attitude, uh, not a swagger, uh, kind of, he does kind of have a swagger even though he's tall and slim. More, um, confident attitude. And we don't seem to be getting any further with this picture. I'm not sure. I don't know if he's showing me something to do with his death. He's he's sticking on this picture. I asked suicide, he said no. So it's I'm trying to get one of the other answers out of him. I don't know. They're they're not moving from this picture, and I can't make them. He doesn't want to show the other details. He's showing a pickup truck that looks kind of silver or light gray. They're close to that. So that's something about this pickup. I see the word legal, L-E-G-A-L. -E Any words or things that they throw out, I'm just gonna throw them. I'm just the vessel. It was a mix-up. Damn it. He says, oops, I screwed up. Hopefully you know what this situation is. Okay, then I see a girl walking towards him, and she doesn't look like she came out of a country western bar. She's got short, short, short blue jean shorts on. Some kind of a boot. She's got her hair in pigtails, but they're braided. I mean, she's given in a headband that goes around her head, not, not, not around to hold her hair back, but like around her forehead. So her hair and the headband and the dark hair are making her look like an Indian. She's not dressed like an Indian, so I don't know if she actually looked this way or she's appearing this way because she might have Native American blood in her. And it's funny because it doesn't look like a cowboy boots that she has on. It looks like, it almost looks like work boots with white socks sticking out of the top of them. But these real short denim shorts. I can only give what they give me.
like I said, they'll tell you what you need to hear, but they may not tell you everything because they don't feel that you need to hear everything. But when she walked up, it seemed like there was another female, but evidently she's... I'm not supposed to worry about her. I honestly don't know what this is about, Patty. Right now, it's just, it's kind of froze. It's it's kind of it's like it's like they're moving in super slow motion. Don't know why. He's mentioned a Chuck or Chucky. Don't forget, I don't get names exact. So it's a male name, obviously Chuck, Chucky. With that sound in the beginning of the name, if nothing else. That's C-C-H. Seems like I get a lot of C-H names. Nose. Ah! No itchy, itchy burn. <laughs> he says the party was fun while it lasted. He says he tried to do a little of that two-stepping, line dancing, country type dance. He loved his buds, and he loved his bud. So he loved his buds as in buddies, and he loved his bud as in beer. He may not have drank Budweiser but he's referring to, he might be just referring to something that I know because I used to drink Budweiser. Eh, Mick Ultra now. He didn't say that. I love my buddies. I love my buds and I love my bud. He says Saturday night hoedown, and he's not just talking about the dance. <laughs> he's showing himself in the same clothes, sitting on your couch, got his feet up on the coffee table one crossed over on top of the other got his boots on he doesn't care if you like it or not <laughs> that he's got his boots on your table he's got a beer in one hand and man I smell some kind of smoke in the left hand He's not telling me what kind, whether it's pipe, cigar, cigarette, left-handed cigarette, don't know. They can all start with a B. Okay, so he says, guess who I found when I got here? Aunt, I can't hear the name, but she's kind of shorter, a little heavier, um, of course older when she left. Almost like, almost like a little hunched over maybe when she left. He says, remember how she used to feed us? He 
He says she used to smack my hand whenever I got into shit I wasn't supposed to. But I still love her. Do you really think that I left because I don't love you anymore? He goes, doing that, I don't know, doing the tongue clicking. No, no, no. I wasn't ready to go. It was kind of like, surprise! Now, I've never seen this before. He says, when he left, there was a man that rode up on a horse. Got cowboy hat, not everything on. So far, I'm only seeing the front of the horse. The horse looks kind of brown. I can't tell. I'm, I'm only seeing the pretty much the face and the front chest. Let's see if I can get him to show me a little more. Maybe I don't need to know. guy has a pistol in his hand, you know, like Lord in a holster. I'm seeing a picture of Yosemite Sam now. Not on the horse, but I'm seeing a picture of Yosemite Sam, the cartoon character. With his two, you know, six shooters sticking up there. I'm not sure how that's referenced in there. Okay, the man's turning a little sideways with the horse. The horse is a brown with a black mane and tail. I'm not, I'm not getting the feeling, the relationship feeling, like, you know, dad, grandfather, uncle. I'm not, I'm not getting that feeling from this guy, so I'm not sure who he is. But it's somebody your brother obviously knew. And I can't see the man well enough to even tell his age. I don't know if that narrows it down enough for you or not. But think about the Yosemite Sam. Maybe his name was Sam. I don't know. It's their spiritual charades. It's just the way they come through. <laughs> Did you ever have pink, fuzzy, bunny, bunny rabbit slippers? Because he's showing, he's sitting there with those on and he's laughing because they're not his. He's got some, one of you guys' slippers on. And he thinks it's hilarious. Okay, he's going to do something to your doorbell. Because he keeps pushing it going ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. So, either your doorbell's going to quit working, or it's going to start working if it doesn't work now, or it's going to ding every so often. Or... I know, this sounds like I'm being kind of vague. I'm not trying to make it fit. I'm just telling you what the possibilities are. Or, you're going to hear this ding dong, ding dong. Maybe not even in your house. You might hear it everywhere. You're going to see a TV show where somebody's standing outside. with. He's showing the little round button that... Shoot, I don't even know if anybody still has those. I think I do, but I don't even think mine works. <laughs> Nobody ever rings it. <laughs> Everybody just come on in. The the little round button that we used to have. Oops, smaller than that. Oop. That we used to have. So he's showing that little bitty button just going ding dong. It may not be the exact doorknob or the doorbell, but that's how he's referencing referencing the doorknob. 
D G's Rhonda doorbell. <laughs> ah. Oh, my brain doesn't always work right. You ought to hear what goes on in this head. Um. It's funny because, sorry, my bad habit. It's funny because they used to show me, literally show me the exact, let's, okay, right now we're in the living room. The exact living room, like just exactly where things were, purport, you know, the windows and the, where this, this chair was and that couch was and what kind of curtains. I mean, they would show me the exact picture. Lately, it's been a generic living room. It's like everybody's, it all, they, it all looks like the same living room kitchen. But right now, he's showing me, and this is, I'm just going to say this because it's so different. When I usually see it, this is my left. Sometimes the videos are backwards in certain things I do. Like the window and the curtains here and the couch is right there. And that's, and then, then the coffee table, of course. And then usually in front of me or even off in a, hey, 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 something just popped up in front of me. Stop that. I didn't ask for you. Okay. Sorry about that. And then in front of me, and sometimes the, the recliner will be cocked one way or the other, but it's always that right now when he's wearing these bunny slippers, the chair is over on my side of the room. Don't know if this means anything or not, but it's, it's a big change from what they usually show me. And it's facing this away towards the couch with cocked up with his little pink bunny slippers on. <laughs> he says, do you remember when we used to make little tents in our room out of the blankets and get a flashlight and get in this little tent and we would tell ghost stories and I would try to scare you. <laughs> he says, I still remember all that. I remember all that. He says, love is what you get to take with you. He knew that you loved him even though he was ornery. And he made you pull your hair out more times than not. But when he wasn't there, he knows how much you missed him. He's going to flick your ear. It won't feel as hard, I would imagine. Usually it doesn't. It won't feel as hard as if I flick my own ear, but it's going to be kind of a little, probably going to, okay, I think it's going to feel like a, maybe like a pin poking you on the ear or something. I don't know if you're going to feel the actual big thump, but it's going to feel that little, little teeny bit of pain at the top of your ear. Oh, he thinks he's funny. <laughs> I think he's kind of cute. He's talking about a sandbox. Sandbox in a yard, I believe. Sandbox. Hiroshima. No idea why I heard that word. Hiroshima.
tell Gladys I said hello. Here we go back to the names. I just have to cover it again. It's a female's name with a G. At least, if it's not Gladys, it's at least that. He says, what did you do to your hair? I liked it the way it was. Oop, I'm gonna laugh. See, when we, when we get close to the their energy fading, then we get little lapses. Um, kind of slow coming in. Um, he's showing a campfire. It's really, really dark. It's out in the boonies, I think, away from the... No, there's no lights. Just the campfire. I'm not seeing a lot of people there, so I don't know exactly what this is. He's roasting a weenie. Oh, marshmallow. I'm not 100%, so I'm not going to make this fit. Um, if you've done this since he passed, he was there with you. And every time he every time he shows me sitting, he sits with his right right leg across the left. Oh, now he switched back. Oh, now quit confusing me with his legs crossed, one over the other. Even sitting by the campfire, he's got, down by the ankles, he's got the right over the left. He thought someday he'd be a bull rider. He goes, yeah, no. He says, you know how much I looked up to you. You always seem to have your shit together. Even when you didn't think you had your shit together, I thought you had your shit together. It. Okay, I'm not sure how we're going to say this. Um. Even if he didn't talk to you for a while, even if he wasn't living, you know, close to where you were, or there was time and space between you, he said he always felt that bond that all he had to do was pick up the phone and call you and say, I need you, and you would have come by boat, plane, submarine, whatever it took, you would have come. He knew that you would be there. And it's just something that he uh, accepted is not the word. Uh, trusted is not the word. Um, something he, ah, uh, oh crap, what's the word I want to use? Accepted is not the word, damn it. Um, something that he, ju he just knew, it. yeah, it just, just trusted. Uh, crap, sorry, I can't think of the right word that really would, what he's feeling. No, he, no questions, hands down. And he wants you to know that he wants you to feel the same way about him even now because there's things he can do different that he couldn't do when he was here. He said, no questions, hands down. He says it again, I will be there. 
by hook or crook in some form, in some way, you need me, you call my name and say help. They, they can, they can do things. They, they can, they can do things. And he's saying he has a team behind him. I am not going to let anybody mess with my baby sister. You don't have to be younger. I don't know if you're younger or older. It doesn't matter. He still considered you his baby sister. But then he pointed like, up like this. He says, but I looked up to her. He said he felt a little bit like a dummy next to you not saying that in a bad way. It's not that you did it to him. Oh, I got quiet again. He's going back out to this campfire. Saying something about you looking at the stars, starlight, star bright, or star sea tonight. This is when you wish upon a star. He says your hopes and dreams will come true. He says, maybe, maybe not in that gigantic, ginormous way that you want him to, but in the way that is best to fit you. And I can help. He says, call me 1-900. He says, you know what those numbers are, don't you? <laughs> He's being funny. <laughs> No, he's actually, he's getting ready to leave and he's actually getting on a horse. Whether he ever had a horse or not, don't know, but he's getting on a horse. He's got a lariat, got spurs. And him and this other guy are going to ride off. It says, right off in the sunset, just like uh, uh, Roy Rogers. And he's probably too young to know Roy Rogers. Probably knows of him. Roy Rogers and Trigger. <laughs> nah, he's even singing the Roy Rogers song that he used to sing at the end of his show, Happy Trails to You Until We Meet Again. I'm not going to sing it to you because <laughs> you'll cry. <laughs> it's, it'd be bad. <laughs> so know that, he's, know that he's hanging around. He's coming in and checking. He's putting his feet on your damn coffee table. <laughs> and wearing somebody's bunny slippers. Or that was a memory. One or the other. I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, we'll let him go. Uh, Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium, physical energy healer, and oracle card advisor. And um, let me know. Hope you got some validations in there. And I hope uh, I hope you can sense that he's around. See you later. Love you.